This is a review of my Nova Strength Squat Bench Press Combo Rack. Uh, my apologies for handheld video and a bit of an echoey sound because I'm in a fairly empty garage, my, the site of my new gym. The Nova Strength Squat Bench Combo Rack is a direct knockoff of the Aleco Competition Squat Bench Combo Rack. There are a few of these around, a few different companies make them. Elite FTS is one, and um, they're basically identical except for a few minor points. Uh, let's take a closer look at this one. Uh, first off, let's have a look at the bench. It's got a single leg on the end. It doesn't have two legs, so that allows your feet to come in closer. This is the same as the Eloco, and it's a superior choice compared to two legs. You don't need the extra support there at all. The bench pad is thick and solid, really quite firm, very firm, which is exactly what you want for bench press. It's the IPF approved height, and everything about it is pretty wonderful. It's the right width, it's not too skinny, it's not too wide. Uh, it's attached to the spotter pad, uh, foot pads and cross piece by two bolts. All in all, this entire unit is held together by with four bolts. There's two underneath the bench holding it to that cross piece and there are two others right down the bottom here as you can see that double up as a swivel point for the uprights, we'll get onto that in a second. The bench pad and the uh, spotter uh, stands, they are held, held together by two bolts and they come out as one unit. You just grab hold of it and lift it up vertically. It's a very snug fit, uh, it's not sloppy at all, so during use you're not gonna get any movement, but it just makes it a tad more difficult to remove. But having said that, you get the uh, balance right and it pops up quite easily. You can get rid of it and then use the stands just for squatting. Um, before we move on from the bench press side of things, these are the um, spotting stands um, or the face savers or safety stands, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're removable and they're adjustable exactly like the Alecos. Now, exactly like the Alecos also, they wrap around the upright post. Now, there are some designs, such as the ER squat bench combo rack, that don't have these little arms coming out. They just butt up against the upright, or in fact, in reality, there's quite a gap there. What that means is that if you drop the bar, and the bar hits exactly here, it can push down in between the two, which means that your safety stands are not safe. In fact, there's a, quite a famous video on the YouTubes showing a guy just about taking his head off using a stand design like that. So the Nova is designed with their safety stands exactly like the Eloco, where they wrap around the upright, giving extra uh, support and security, and that will not happen with this uh, setup. Uh, the L-shaped uh, uprights that hold the, the spotter stands they aren't locked in, they just slide in and out. So maybe that's a, something that they can do in the future is just put a little um, hand tightening lock, lock nut on that to stop them moving out. Uh, but having said that, uh, in practicality, that's what you see is exactly what you want. Now the whole unit breaks down into probably 10 pieces or, or less. Uh, four bolts hold it all together. Uh, the main base itself is one piece, these uprights come off and the sliding uprights they come away as well and that leaves you with the safety stands with all, which all pop apart. These two, the bench and the uh, spotter stands, they all come apart and so you can fit the entire kit and caboodle in a standard or small SUV or a station wagon or something similar. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, squatting side of things. Uh, the height adjusters, which are also used for the bench press, they come with uh, four pins, a la Aleco. The design is a little bit different. The Alecos are just a, um, a, a single piece of machined metal. Uh, these are just a fraction different, but um, 
in effect they are the same, do the same job. The only thing is that when you are using uh, the adjusters, um, this little collar here can get in the way if you push it all the way in. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Um, also, as is the case with all of these stands, you can't use two pins adjacent to each other. There's no room to get this in there and operate with two pins. So the pins got, have to be always at least two holes apart. Um, that's normal, don't worry about that. Uh, while we're here, just look down here, they've also included these little posts to put your collars on. I won't be using them, uh, I don't need them, I don't really like them, and also in practicality, your collars are going to get in the way, um, or this pin is going to get in the way of putting your collars off and on. Maybe if you use the little cheap spring steel clamps, um, you can certainly use those without any problem. Maybe the plastic uh, clamp collars as well. But I use competition collars, which are quite big and clunky, and I probably wouldn't tend to put them there there anyway because I use uh, plate racks. So for me, they're unnecessary. They will work for you um, unless you're using competition collars. Uh, as I said, those uh, two bolts, one on, the, on each upright, also act as a pivot point, and um, you can take out these little um, wedges so that you can swing the uprights in so that you've got rack in or rack out positions which is um, which allows you to use the entire length of your barbell now this is why I don't have a power rack and if you're a power lifter um, it's really something to think about with a, with a power rack you can only put your hand in a limited number of places and the sweet spot sometimes is exactly where the power racks are and you can't put the bar there. So with these you can actually swing the uprights in and it gives you full access to all of your bar. And um, the other point as to why you would use one of these instead of a power rack in your training is that you compete and you train with the same equipment. Uh, that does make a difference. You may not think so, but it does. Uh, when you walk out onto the platform, the last thing in the world you want is equipment that doesn't feel right or feels very different to how you've been training. If you use a proper combo rack like this, instead of a power rack, that gets rid of that problem. And also, as I said, you have that point about being able to use the entire barbell to place your hands. Uh, the uprights, uh, where the bar comes off the rollers um, there is no plastic coating it's just metal that means that your bar is going to slip quite nicely however it can also scrape off all the paint um, it may also especially if you're using a, a junky cheap rogue bar or something like that uh, it also means that all your nerve will be affected so just purely on a cosmetic point of view, I'm going to do what Elite FTS have done, which is to put in a strip of hard plastic and screw it in. So that'll protect the uprights, give the barbell something to slide up that won't hurt the newel, and I'll do that up on the squat stands as well. So that's probably the only little adjustment that I'll do with this, except for one other thing, which I'll get to. They have the rollers. I think the Aleco rollers are nylon. These are like a hard plastic, which do the, exactly the same job. They're replaceable, and it means that you can actually roll your barbell horizontally very, very easily. In fact, the first time you do it, you probably just about throw it off the rack. It's that smooth and easy. Uh, so it gives you uh, the opportunity to, to position the barbell horizontally exactly where it should be, without any effort. You're not, uh, like on the power rack, you don't, you have, where you have metal hooks, you're going to be scraping your bar across that and once you get three or four or five plates on your bar that becomes extremely difficult and uh, you're wasting energy you know, moving your bar around whereas with these and with the Aleco competition rack zero energy to move your bar um, it's beautifully made very very snug everything fits together very tightly there is no movement uh, or minimal movement should I say um, I did ask them to put a little bracket on the front here so I could bolt it to the floor and they forgot. 
which is fine because as it turns out it's a lot more solid than I thought it would be and if I do have trouble with movement I'll just drill a hole at the end of each foot or maybe two at the, on the back piece here and just screw it into the baseboard into the plywood but at the moment it doesn't look as if I'll need to do that um, the adjusters are everything that you'd expect adjusters to be they do the job they don't have a little hole uh, little pad at the back which I'm going to put on I'll add on some um, chair leg adjusters so there it won't make all of that noise um, when you drop it down it'll just be a nice soft little thunk uh, oh yeah they've got these um, really cool uh, numbers laser cut into the back of the the post so no more are you squinting at the numbers the Aleco stands I have a terrible time trying to see the numbers particularly when the light is in a certain direction with these no problem uh, they're beautifully done look really nice and very easy to see and read um, I think that's about it uh, the Aleco is around about um, six thousand to ten thousand dollars depending on what country you buy it in these uh, if it's a six thousand dollar rack this is about um, less than half the price uh, so you're probably paying about a third of the price of an Aleco competition rack which does exactly the same job um, the only point is that this is not IPF approved um, the design is exactly the same as the Laco, so the only difference is that this company Nova need to approach the IPF, throw some money at them and get it approved, but um, otherwise it's perfect. Um, the Elite FTS rack, which is exactly the same design, they also um, cost 27, 2800 US plus shipping and taxes and stuff like that. So Anova will set you back uh, 2300 Canadian plus taxes, so 2600 Canadian, uh, whatever that converts to in your currency. So uh, cheaper still in the US. Um, shipping could be a bit of a, a cost, but um, as I said, this breaks down into very small pieces, so it'll fit onto a pallet very easily. No, no problem there, quite compact. Um, so that's it, um, four and a half stars out. But, oh yes, the other thing that I didn't like about it is the color scheme. It looks really dull and boring and flat. So I'm going to add some of this color in. I'll do some spray painting on some of the legs and things and make it look all pretty and get rid of that horrible purpley mauve. Uh, so my apologies for the echoey sound. I'm in my new garage gym and uh, it's a bit empty. And I'm sorry for the wobbly camera, but it's all handheld. So thanks for your attention. Four and a half stars out of five, maybe five out of five. Beautiful rack, beautifully made, tight fit, uh, beautifully machined, well uh, put together, good quality materials. This will last a few lifetimes. If you're in the market for one, this one has the safety stops that work properly and uh, a good solid hard bench to work off. And um, so, uh, good on you Nova, job, job well done.